Okay, so, hi, I'm Derek, welcome to my YouTube channel. I just wanted to start off my YouTube channel with a little bit of a banger um, and tell you the story time of probably the only time that I've ever actually had a bad experience smoking where I was like confused as fuck of what happened. Just know that it's fucking 80 degrees out and I need my fucking AC on, but let's get on with the story. Okay, so the story was about maybe three and a half years ago. Um, I was already smoking for like nine months, 10 months. And oh my God, these people are like so fucking douchebags. Anyway, um, so I've already been smoking for a good amount of time. I'm not wearing my seatbelt. Oh my God, don't fucking, don't listen to me. I was already smoking for a good amount of time and it was like every other time smoking, we went outside, we took a whole bunch of hits out of the bong, um, we came back inside and I was chilling. Uh, after like 10 minutes chilling, my whole entire mind just like went blank and it changed completely. Right now, I'm also stopping to get a coffee for my fiance and I um, at Duncan. So we're gonna take a quick Duncan break to the story. I don't really know where I was, but I didn't really get started. So I guess we'll figure it out. I guess the drive through was fine. Someone's fucking waiting me around me like bitches going around me. Okay, so I guess this makes it easier so that I can do the story time without having to go into Dunkin' Donuts. So now we're in the drive through So back to the story. We came back upstairs. I was chilling. Around like 10 minutes later, I like started getting paranoid and like I couldn't breathe much. So I laid down on the bed i was laying down and then all of a sudden my whole entire mind just went to like this animated like gta place i have no clue what you'd call it um i love to think of it as like an alternate reality but like where everything's like animated and feels like you're kind of in like a video game so then after this started happening i was looking around at everything and it all looked animated i looked down at my hands like this and it just felt like I got out of the hospital at GTA. Everything that was going on in my mind, I had to like narrate for myself. Um, also, it's like really awkward filming with like people behind you because like these people don't understand what the fuck I'm doing because I'm in Pennsylvania and nobody fucking understands. So anyway, just a little bit embarrassing. I had to narrate everything that went on in my head. Um, I had to... In order to speak, I had to say what I wanted to say in my head first and then repeat it back to myself, like out loud, basically. Um, it was all just really crazy. So this ended up like happening for around like an hour and a half to two hours. My friends were just kind of sitting down chilling, like nothing happened to them. We all smoked the same weed and nothing happened to them. Um, I, I did think that this was laced at one time, but I figured if the rest of my friends smoked the same shit and they didn't have the same experience. It probably wasn't laced. After this all happened, I ended up going and um, puking outside after I was able to get up and move without having to narrate it for myself. I also like had to go piss the entire time that I was going through this and I couldn't physically. I could not stand up. I couldn't do anything. Like I, talking was so hard for me. Looking around the room was so hard for me, like moving my head. And it was just like nothing that I've ever had before. It, it felt as if somebody took all the life that I had inside of me and just sucked it out and put it into like a jar to hold for a little bit. I don't know, I'm ordering from nothing now. I'll be with you in just a moment. Okay, take your time. How can I help you this morning? Hi, can I have two medium iced coffees? Um, butter pecan flavor with extra cream and extra liquid sugar in both. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna stop this video when I get up there because like, what? They're gonna be looking at me fucking weird if I have this going. Um, I don't really know where I was in the video though, so I better just go watch it back. <laughs> okay, so now there's someone who's like, who like went to my school next to me walking his dogs. This is a little bit awkward too. And I was gonna wait to start filming till after, but it's fine. Fuck, I forgot that I had my fucking fiance's ring in my pocket and she forgot it. Anyway, um, he's like waiting across the street. I hope he doesn't see me filming. So, 
back to my story. I ran to the backyard, even though it was further than the toilet, I'm not sure why I went to the backyard. I was just like really high. And um, I puked off the side of the railing of the backyard's porch. And I was like puking like a lot. So then I walked down, <laughs> went behind the shed and puked. I don't know what the fuck I was on, like for real. Like I don't know why I was puking in random places and not the toilet, but it was just, it was just that fucked. Whereas like, I don't even know what the fuck I was doing. So like, I also want to add to this that I like rarely even go through like this experience with alcohol. I never get under the influence that much where I forget what I'm doing, you know? So like, that's what was weird about this whole entire experience is that I've never been really this way before and I got this way from weed, which isn't really normal. I also wanted to add to this video that this experience did not make me want to not smoke anymore. It also like didn't make me scared to smoke. Like I really went outside that same night and smoked. Um, and it never happened again. So like it was a one and done thing. I also, I'm pretty sure that it wasn't like the last of the weed. We ended up smoking more of the same weed that caused this to me that night and it didn't do it again. And we smoked just as much. I don't know, it was a very weird experience. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but also it was a something to experience that made me less scared to smoke, I think. I feel like this experience made it easier for me to see like what exactly could happen if I smoked and something went wrong. And this experience opened my eyes and showed me that that's what could happen. And it wasn't that bad to the point where I was like completely over smoking because of it. It wasn't bad enough to the point where I was thinking that I was going to die or anything because of it. So I would just say that like it was an experience, you know? And I'm curious to know if anyone else has had these experiences like this. Um, I don't know if CHS causes like something like that to happen, whereas like I felt like I was on an alternate universe. Um, but like I feel as if it doesn't cause it to happen to most people. I feel like that's more psychedelics and drugs. Like also, if you guys wanted to like and comment and tell me what your craziest experience was, because I am genuinely curious of like what else people have experienced. So that like if I ever experience it again, I'm I'm gonna be fully aware. Or if I'm with somebody that experiences it, because I do hang out with people that like don't smoke a lot. And stuff always goes crazy wrong when I smoke with them. Like every time that I like smoke with someone who doesn't smoke daily, um, something horribly wrong goes wrong. Also my tire pressure light just came on. So like, what the fuck? Every day of my life, something different happens. This is like a slight vlog. Currently I'm on the way to go meet my fiance and give her her ring and smoke with her. Again, like I said, like comment, subscribe. I'm gonna be posting more um, like opening videos of like certain like subscription boxes that I've ordered. I'm gonna be testing some product. I already have a few things that I wanna test on this channel um, that I feel like people would be interested in seeing. Um, I have a Puffco that's more of like the knockoff version Puffco and that um, I feel like would make an interesting video to try to show people how it works and what the difference is between that and Puffco are. I also know that it's really loud right now for my driving. If anyone is annoyed by that, I'm sorry. And you guys are probably annoyed because I keep on fucking talking, so I'm just gonna stop now and listen to some music. So I hope y'all have a good day. Just so you guys know, you're now referred to as my hotties. So yeah, you are hot. Don't let anyone ever tell you differently. You just saw my fiance's car, not in her car though, weird. Anyway, have a good day guys. Peace.